हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वन ट्रबल शूटिंग सिनेरियो सो हियर इन दिस टोपोलॉजी देयर इज सम प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी मेक यू फैमिलियर विद दिस टोपोलॉजी देन आई विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम देयर एंड देन आई विल चेक द कॉन्फिगरेशन आई विल फाइंड द प्रॉब्लम and then i will fix it okay so make sure you will watch this video till the end right then only you will get everything so without wasting our time let's begin so guys consider this network as a network of an organization you can say this is network of xyz company as you can see there are two data center in this organization this is us data center and this is india data center between us and india there are one connectivity through vpn right you know this is isp connectivity and between my two edge router i have created one tunnel okay so this is the ip address of tunnel 1 this is the ip address of tunnel 1 on router number 3 okay now definitely i have other connectivity as well suppose there are you know connect mpls link as well between 1 and 3 but suppose this is my secondary link so from you know yesterday secondary link is not working fine so here is problem problem is exactly what yesterday here you can read yesterday engineers visited the both side of data center and after that there has been no connectivity between india and us through tunnel right through you know vpn so this is not working from yesterday maybe engineers have you know modify some configuration due to that tunnel is not working or communication is not happening now i am not going to discuss about mpls or about the other link maybe list line or any other you know connectivity are there though that are primary here i am going to discuss only secondary link okay so just assume that there is one primary link as well but here in the configuration you are not going to see any primary link there will be only one link right that is you know this is isp and between router 1 and router 3 i have created tunnel okay so what i will do as you know these all user user in you know user in us data center are able to access internet in the same way all users of india data center are able to access internet but problem is only these two sites are not able to communicate with each other so that means definitely problem is maybe on r1 or r3 so i have don't i don't have access of router number 2 so i am not going to check any configuration of router number 2 whatever things i will do or i can configure or i can you know delete the configuration i can do on router 1 and router 2 only okay so guys without wasting our time let's begin first of all i am going to check configuration of router number 1 so first command that i would like to run here is so so ip interface brief to check the ip configuration on inside interface and outside interface so ip interface brief and hit enter so guys here you can see fast ethernet 0/0 is my inside interface and here i am running ip 192.168.10.100 and status and protocol both are up okay on my outside interface on my public interface i am running ip 101.1.1.1 so i have purchased this public ip address from isp and on isp router i am running 100 101.1.1.2 so if you will ping isp router 2 from here 101.1.1.2 you can see there is connectivity between router 1 and isp and you can see this is my tunnel interface and tunnel interface is also up status is also up and protocol is also up here you can see the ip address of tunnel interface okay now let me check the ip configuration on router number 3 let me check that on tunnel interface ip address is running from same network or not because that can be also a problem yes or no so so ip interface brief okay yes great here you can see on fast ethernet 0/0 i am running this ip address so means between us and isp i am running network 101.1.1.0 and here i am running 102.1.1 0 network okay here ip address is you know 
one here IP address is 1.2 here also IP address is 1.2 here IP address is 1.1 sorry 1.1 okay fine now guys tunnel interface the on tunnel interface I am running IP from same subnet right 1.1.2 and the status of this interface is up but protocol is down protocol that means on router number 3 tunnel interface protocol is down but on router number 1 it's showing me protocol and its status both is up that means there is some problem on tunnel configuration only yes or no on tunnel interface so what I will do directly I will check the configuration of tunnel interface if there will be some problem on you know fast ethernet port or fast ethernet 0 slash 1 or 0 slash 0 definitely I will check the uh, configuration of that interface also but here as you are able to see the line protocol of tunnel on India router is down so that's why I am going to check the tunnel configuration and here I am getting one you know uh, log message as well if you want to read this log message see line protocol 5 up down line protocol on interface tunnel 1 is what change state to down that means line protocol of tunnel interface is fluctuating actually it is coming up and going down yes or no now it's down so definitely problem is on tunnel interface okay so let's start checking configuration from router number one guys so and one more thing from router number three if you will check connectivity from router three to isp 102.1.1.2 let me check this as well so yes there is connectivity so that's why these users are able to access internet okay now i am going to check configuration on tunnel interface so run interface tunnel one okay so interface tunnel 1 IP address is 1.1.1.1 .1 submit mask is slash 24 let me check the submit mask on router number 3 so interface so run interface tunnel 1 ok here also you can see submit mask is same no problem ok after that tunnel source is first ethernet 1 slash 0 so this is my public interface so exactly public interface is you know outside interface on router number 1 is first ethernet 1 slash 0 so this interface is tunnel source definitely right after that tunnel destination so tunnel destination is the public IP address of my neighbor so public IP address of my neighbor is 101.1.1 .1 .1 one okay yes 101.1.1 .1 .1. here you can see on router number three fast ethernet zero slash zero i am running this ip address right well, how you can check it on router number three so ip interface brief see here guys this is the public ip address on router number three so that means tunnel configuration on router number one is working fine can I check so IP root let me check so IP root as well is there any root from any protocol no there is one static root and so IP protocol am I uh, using any routing protocol here so yes I am using EIGRP 100 and which network I have advertised I have advertised you know tunnel interface and my local area network my LAN okay okay so here EIGRP is also fine now guys need to check configuration of tunnel interface on router number 3 so let me take you on router number 3 directly and here so run interface tunnel 1 okay so tunnel IP address is fine tunnel source is fine tunnel destination is 1.1.1 dot one dot one dot tunnel destination tunnel destination is the IP address of tunnel interface here you can see engineer have configured tunnel IP address as tunnel destination but here you know engineer need to define what public IP address of 
नेवर राउटर यस रिमोट राउटर पब्लिक आईपी एड्रेस सो दिस इज रिमोट टनल आईपी एड्रेस दिस इज नॉट रिमोट पब्लिक आईपी एड्रेस सो दिस इज प्रॉब्लम दिस इज फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी करेक्ट इट राइट बिकॉज हियर वी नीड टू डिफाइन व्हाट आईपी एड्रेस 101.1.1.1 as tunnel destination because tunnel destination will be the public ip address of my remote device so let me correct it config t interface tunnel 1 and say no tunnel destination first tunnel destination 1.1.1.1 okay now do so interface tunnel sorry tunnel 1 so do so run interface tunnel 1 yes okay so i have removed tunnel destination now i am going to define tunnel destination is what tunnel destination will be so tunnel destination will be what 101.1.1.1 right so this is my remote public ip address let me hit enter over here and now guys let me check so ip interface brief now you can see log message also tunnel interface come up now right so ip interface brief and here also you can see my tunnel interface is now up can i ping my remote tunnel ip address 1.1.1.1 yeah i am able to ping yes or no now guys let me check am i able to ping is connectivity there between router 1 and router 3 between india and us so ip root so there are one default root but here i need you know 192.168. 10.0 network so 192.168.10.0 network is not available over here that means still connectivity is not there if you want to check how you can check you can ping from router 1 to let me take you on router number 1 and from here i am going to ping the ip address which is running on lan interface of router 3 that is 192.168.20.100 on router number 3 you can see the ip address so ip interface brief so ip interface brief here you can see guys here i am running what ip address this is my lan interface here i am running 20.100 so i am going to ping this ip address from and source will be 192.168. you know uh, 10.100 because here on my lan interface i am running this ip address so from this source i am going to ping this ip address let's see will it work or not no it's still not working right but now there is no any problem on tunnel interface yes or no so let me check the other configuration right but like which routing protocols we are using to exchange routes through tunnel eigrp yes or no so now i need to check i think eagrp configuration on both router because on both router we have to advertise tunnel interface and my lan interface in eagrp so so ip protocol over here so here i am running eagrp 100 okay so same as number should be enabled on router number 3 also after that guys okay so i am performing routing for my lan and for my tunnel interface so i think here on router number 1 eagrp configuration is also fine now let me check eagrp configuration on router number 3 guys so ip protocol oops here we we have not configure any routing protocol here you can see no any routing so maybe engineer have remove eagrp configuration from here so let me enable eagrp again command will be very simple router eagrp 100 same as number after that network so network which is running on tunnel interface is 1.1.1 and say no auto summary as well let me check eagrp neighbor ship yes now you can see eagrp never have come up 
with which interface with tunnel interface right and never router id is 1.1.1 here you can see now guys i am going to advertise my lan network because i want to share that network to router 1 through tunnel so network 192.168.10.10 dot dot 20.0 over here 20.0 okay now so ip eigrp never first of all you can say never ship is up guys working fine let me check root so ip root eigrp so yes now in the routing table of router 3 you can see this is my lan network of us data center yes or no let me check the routing table on router 1 as well guys here also you can see eigrp never have come up so ip eigrp never okay so never is fine so ip root eigrp yes so root is also available in the routing table of router 1 now if i will ping i think this time ping should work let me check yes now you can see now connectivity is there between us data center and india data center okay guys so this was you know a very basic trouble setting of gre tunnel gre tunnel okay so guys if you learn something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel and we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe guys bye bye thanks for watching